What's going on, buddy? We got Kerwood over here. What's up? Just calling in from my house again. Yeah, this is a, an elaborate Skype setup that we have. We're going to do a mystery booster draft. Wow, we jumped right into this. Dude. What's the pick here, bro? One with nothing. Okay, see. <laughs> Kerwood was like, should I do the drafting and do the picking and things? And I was like... Well, you can, but I don't know if that's going to get us anywhere. I am really surprised that that's actually in here. I am too, actually. Technology is getting amazing nowadays. What about Goblin Fire Slinger? I got, like, owned by one of those decks. I don't think you're going to get, like, ten of them, though, is the problem. Oh. You know what I mean? So if yeah. it's, like, a core set, you can just take as many as you want. That's true. Whereas, like, here, you're probably going to see the one, and that's it. Each player other than target player creates a 5-5. Five, five. So that seems pretty good, except it's really expensive. And you're, so you're just getting a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Maybe just be Lightning Helix. Lightning Helix. I like Lightning Helix. All right. Well, Helix. It's a nice, safe choice. How many cards are actually in the uh, mystery set? Oh, God. Uh, like a thousand or something Holy ridiculous. Cut. Oh, Mind Spring. That's interesting. Draw a bunch of cards. What else we got here? Mark of Mutiny. Is Kerwit actually there? Ah! Yeah, Kerwit's actually here this time. Oh, you become the Monarch? What do you get for being the Monarch? You get the, the, the crown. The Monarch. Yeah, I know, but does that card actually give you anything? It lets you monarch? draw a card at the, at the end of your turn. That's not bad. No, it's pretty good. I'm actually surprised. That's really good. Helix leads to Boros Reckoner. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a gateway drug. I feel like it's this. I mean, being the Monarch is real strong. Yeah. I do like Mind Spring, too. I want to take the Monarch card. Yeah, let's do that. Laboratory Maniac? Laboratory Maniac's the one that you win if you, like, if you draw no your cards. cards. See, if we'd have taken uh, the other one that lets you draw X cards, then we could have taken Combo. Laboratory Maniac. We really messed up. I'm just going to drop. <sighs> yeah. I don't feel like it's worth it anymore. Um, one two for two. Whenever it deals, whenever it dies, it deals a damage to a target, or you can pump it. It's you go bad. with the classic. Oh, I guess what? we're taking burning. Do we really run out of time? I don't. I didn't think we did, but I guess we did. That's weird. Is there like a five color thing in here? Yeah. That library on top. Oh, oh it's not, yeah. As soon as they say on top, I was like, oh, no, boo. never mind. Boo earns. Boo earns. I was saying boo earns. Uh, nothing in this pack's really good. Uh, Cloak of Mist seems kind of cool. Meh. Or coat with venom. Oh, it's only to land a turn. Never mind. I'm just taking this stupid bringer. I All don't right. care. There's nothing in this pack that I... Energy field. Frontal damage will be dealt to you by sources you don't control. When a card is put into your graveyard from anywhere, sacrifice it. Mm. Boy, that's a big ask. What is improvise? Where is it? It's on that uh, Fen Holler. Oh, the ability. Yeah. You can cast it with artifacts. Like, you can tap your artifacts oh, to help okay. cast it. It's like uh, Convoke, convoke artifacts, right? Yeah. Armillaries 3 actually seems pretty decent here. So you have to do? Yeah, that's cool. Especially since we seem to have a... Helps us cast the bringer. That's true. Pollen Bright Wings is real good, and we just passed an Armadillo Cloak, so that's interesting. I don't know, cast spell and gain life. Yeah. Oh, this is the pay 50. Hmm. Pyromant? Well, we'd have, we'd have to get more red spells for Pyromants. We're getting good. More than one, you think? Yeah. So there's probably not much of a reanimator theme in this, huh? I don't actually have any idea. I feel like it's hard to have that many cohesive strategies with like as many cards are in the set. Right. You want to just go with the uh, Aether Flex Reservoir? Or Ravenous Trap? I don't think it's either. <laughs> I'm just going to take Pollen Bright Wings. I think that's the highest upside. Add the green. Might as oh, well Fusion, just go elemental. fusion elemental. I mean, then. yeah, like we're already five colors. So, sure. And this pack's not really exciting. Five color, no fixing. We got Armillary Sphere, bro. Oh, right. What? Don't be a hater, man. Whatever you 
you gain life, put a plus one plus counter. See? Oh, yeah, but we don't have any life. We need. Any more time to counter draw a card? I don't know, man. These all look like garbage. Deals two damage. Uh, feel Death Ringer sounds kind of like Boris Reckoner. <laughs> you know, it is kind of like Boros Reckoner. Eh, it seems fine. I'm not excited about anything. Yeah, this has been like a really weird set of cards. How is this in a giant deck? We only have lightning here like so far. Hmm. Oh, oh one with nothing, nothing came around again? Wow. Look, your favorite too. I mean... Draw a card for each tapped creature opponent controls. Oh, the, the, the thousand, hundred thousand arrows card. It could be all right. Might as well take it. I don't think there's anything better in this pack. Yeah. I wonder if there's anything that actually combos with one with nothing in this set. Falcon Wrath Reaver, no. No. I don't know, like Mark of Mutiny, maybe? Or Eidolon of Rhetoric? Or that? I, this guy's fine. Yeah, okay. I mean, he's five. Well, this guy's also five. These are both just five drops that... Take the flying. Thank one. you! Yeah, I agree. Marbler, thank you for the reset, Ooh, buddy. five-color one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that guy. Boom. We're living the five color dream. We need to we need to find more fixing. I don't think uh Amulary Sphere is gonna get a donor on its own. Well, you'd be wrong. I've been wrong before. That doesn't sound right. Eh, hey, whatever. None of these are exciting. Kurt, are you congested? Am I congested? No, I just sound like this all the time. <laughs> this is just my voice. This is the way I sound. Hey, look, that one that I thought wasn't good came. Or, uh. Oh, this is a different one. Oh, wow. Facebook looks way different. I haven't tried to comment on anything in Facebook in nigh on two years. Missed Hollow Griffin, huh? You can cast it from exile, you know. All that X Island that's going on. We could get that artifact land. See, that does nothing for me. Rampant no. growth, though, that does a thing for me. Yeah, we should take that. Or wild and coddle. <laughs> you know what? If those are options, I think I'm going to go with rampant growth. Great furnace is fixing for red. Unfortunately, nothing else. Hey, if you if you took great fixing or a great uh, great furnace, and then you had a an improvised card, you could tap it for ma for uh, artifact mana. That's amazing. I know, right? When was her last Pro Tour appearance? Uh, I don't remember. Because there's so many, or because it was that long ago? I was probably drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kurt's a big drinker. Oh, Jelectrode. Mimic that. What's going on in this art? Look at this tree in the background. Ooh, Street Wraith. That's part of a winning combo. I think Shriek Mod, Jelectra, and Mimic Vat are significantly better than. I uh, like Shriek Ma. But what is what? What is Sheltering Ancient? Can you more propulsion to count? On. Ew. Okay. Ew. Actually, yeah, Dictate's not bad either. Mimic Vat, could you even roll? Oh yeah, that sounds cool. So either Shriekma, Sheltering Ancient, Mimic Vat. Mimic Vat seems Vat real unbeatable and limited. Yeah. Especially if we get something. I'm taking Mimic Vat. Oh, Assemble the Legion? That card seems bananas and limited. Do it. Man, I hope Vegetation comes back. Oh that, my god, Assemble the Legion seems bananas. The Fallen Angel, the, like, the way the uh, Legend symbol watermark is, it always looks like something's been like blanked out on the card text. When? What? The Fallen Angel card. Like it has like a the the legends uh, watermark. What is the legends watermark? It's the like. Oh, it's the top building, of the column. Right? Yeah. And so like it has that black 
kind of bar at the top. Let's see if I can see it when it comes back. And it sits like right by the flying text, and so it like looks like they redacted something. Frank, would you consider Kurt your best friend? Kurt's definitely one of my closest friends for sure. I mean, Mike B is probably closer to best friend. I like I don't follow <laughs> him around, living in his house. Yet. True. Yet. Give it time. Elvish Visionary is sweet. Urza's Rage is pretty sweet. I think it's just Urza's Rage. What, the kicker's the 10 one? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I mean, yeah, you're rarely going to deal 10, but even if, like, you can sometimes. Yeah. Frank is Mike Dad. <laughs> it's true. Hey, I think you mean Dad hey. Mike. Hunter probably is Mike's best or Frank's best friend. What what are your uh, Mike B inspirational texts that you send him? I'm curious. Uh, sometimes they say no, no. So Sir Strumming God says oh. he sends him a daily. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty funny. What about Painful Legion or Painful Lesson? Is that any good? Eh. I like spider. I don't want a double green card though. I want to kind of minimize. I think it's just raging sword tooth. Uh, just battlefield deals one. Yeah, it's cool. Just a five five for five. Yeah. Like I want to try to minimize my double Ooh, costs. Ooh, sliver hive lord. That's actually kind of cool. I think we're just taking that for our five color deck. I feel like we at need worst to. it's a five five for five. That's indestructible, right? That's right. And if we can find some changelings or something, or slivers. Belligerent Brontodon. Each creature assigns damage equal to their butts. Do we their have anything that would actually benefit from that? No. Everything's like a 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five, 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 I mean, if that eight, Dreadnought eight. wheels. The 7-11? Yeah. Dragon Whelp. Watcher in the web. Uh, I could block. Sure. It could, this could block an additional seven creatures each combat. I think we should take that. Totally normal. I think I just want something cheaper like this two drop. Okay. I don't think we need another five drop is my only, my reservation here. Ooh, experiment one. Look at this Ristic study. Oh, that sounds cool. Is Ristic study good and limited? I mean, how many spells are they going to be casting a turn? Even if they cast one a turn, like. Yeah, I mean. I want to take it anyway. I, don't th I think it's better than anything else in this in this pack. You don't like experiment one? I don't. I really don't. Do you? It's a fun card. Oh my god. 1-1 one, one haste megamorph. Wait, what does it do when it flips? Uh, target creature gets haste until it's... Eh. Meh. Yeah, it's a little meh. Do uh, you think we would actually have a plane or a mountain and uh, planes in play for Wild Nakata? Maybe, but I also don't really... Actually, Spike Shot Goblin's real sweet. Yeah, let's do that equal to its power to any target sweet yeah do we have a couple little buffs don't we not yet i think we have like we just have this but it doesn't what buff. is the thorn of the black rose that's just the one three that i thought we picked up a black card that gave yeah untamed hunger plus two plus one in menace team of battle rage creatures choose a type creature spells you cast that doesn't type cost one less yeah i don't care about that Just taking smash, whatever. Oh look, this guy came back. Skirt three two minus for three. That seems actually really good. We're not gonna have goblins. I don't think we have like one goblin. Yeah, but you could sacrifice it for one man. It just becomes like a one man a battery. A one man a battery. Sure, I'll take that guy. What's up, Jimmy the Mole? Eldrazi Monument's interesting. That's pretty good. Oxidon Warhammer is also real See, good. See, that would be sweet with the uh, spike shot. Or the other one. It's true. Or we get Path Razor of Ulamog. Yeah, we're just taking Oxidon Warhammer. That guy's 11 mana. So? No one's got... Ain't anybody got time for that. 
<laughs> Flip a coin if you win, destroy all non-land permanents. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I think we're just taking Sylvan Scrying, though. Is that lands? Yeah. Yeah. There's, like, no dual lands. There, I haven't seen a single land. Other than, like, uh... You know, the artifact land. What up, Hodge Gulashi? <laughs> Your commander deck looks great. I didn't understand why you put penis worm in it. <laughs> Our motto worm looks like a cock, and that distracts people from sticking to their intermittent fasting. May I suggest a less phallic creature like our Gothian worm? Stay strong, Moochel. Is that a real message you send him? Because that's hilarious. <laughs> Phyrexian and Jester is sweet. That's cool. Wooly Thokdar is fine. I think it's just in Jester and maybe Thokdar comes back. You don't like Stunt Devil? I don't. Cool. That's actually alright. No, Phyrexian matter. This is Jester's removal though, good. so it's kind of like... It's like a Shriek Maw, you know? Seven mana, destroy permanent. Ooh. And you have to sacrifice it too? This guy's good. Yeah, like, uh, the mantis sounds good. You do have to sacrifice it. Oh, violence, man? Jeez. Oh, a tower guard roll is nice, though. I feel like we should take violent ultimatum. We're never going to be able to cast red, red, black, 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 green, green, though. We're never going to be able to cast anything. Oh, we can get, like, one of each mana. <laughs> oh, interesting. Lotus petal. Yeah, oh, New Horizon. Oh, add two mana of anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, Lotus Petal. See you later. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any fixing in this format. Like, very little. It's, it's all just, like, search your library for... Which is which is fine, but... It's not that... It's, you know... I mean, we'll see. This is my first draft doing, uh... Mystery Boosters. Mm-hmm. 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 Super Fruits, we always feel thick. Like, we have Rampant Growth, Sylvan Scrying, Armillary Sphere, and New Horizons. I'm pretty sure thick is spelled T H I C C. It could be both. They probably mean different things, though. Oh, yeah. You gotta watch out for wearing two pairs of sweatpants. Man, what? Mystery Ding was like a minute ago. Where's the pack? There, right, here we go. Gustwalker is real good. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Oh, it's it's a defender. I was gonna say, imagine if you had the uh, one eight guy there with the uh, assigns damage based off its toughness. <laughs> Attack for eight. What support is it puts a plus one on, on the on the yeah, two target creatures. Mm. Yeah, I'm just taking the two two. Sounds good. Better than this guy. Oh yeah. I think their hub's alright. It's a one shot, but haven't seen a single changeling or shapeshifter. I'm trying to find. I gotta decide what I'm doing for food here. Doing two food here soon? What are you doing to the food? Dude, wreck that food. Wreck it. Super Fritz, do you need us to throw out some suggestions? Or you uh, you got it on lock? Ooh, angel hair pasta scent. Well, except for the shrimp part. Yeah, I don't think I'm fish. Smoked sausage, dirty rice, that stuff is delicious. 
whiskey smoking the sausage yourself. Who look, Pathraiser of Ulamog came back. Oh, wow. Gold tokens are the ones that give you mana? Yeah. Cinder Hellion sounds good. Wait, I don't think I've seen any planeswalkers. No, I mean like it's there's probably not that many. Oh, Willie Thoctar came back. Fuck that up. Well, that guy's actually good too. It'll be good with our uh, sliver hive lord. That is interesting. Yeah, all right, I'll take that guy. I don't think I'm. Oh, look. Yes. <laughs> Oh wow, Lama just binding came back? That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take out some of the cards that just don't do anything great. The white? Except for the changeling hero. Well no, because then we have assembled legion. Oh, that's like true. these are both white. Wings is white. This is white. This is this we have a lot of white. I think you're actually I think you're actually having a a little brain malfunction. Yeah, probably. That's okay. That happens. Brains are overrated. We have to make four cuts. Oh, Somber Hoverguard sucks. I don't know why it's still in here. Wait, make three cuts. Affinity with artifacts? Nice. <laughs> See, if you'd have taken that red land, you could get two mana for I know. that one. I really messed up. Eh, this guy's kind of meh. Even Century, you're kind of meh. And... Probably one of these. These these all hit lands. Yeah, we need those. I think it might just be Gustwalker. Wait, which one's Gustwalker? It's just a 2-2 two, two for 2. Yeah. Digit. Oh my god, we just have to play basics here? That's kind of funny. Wait, are we only going to play 16 lands? Oh, you got Aether Hub in there. I don't even know if Aether Hub's any good, though. Like, you only get one color. Yeah. Like, so if you ever use it for, like, Silver Hive Lord, you can never cast... If you, yeah, I'm not going to play this. <sighs> okay, so properties... How are we looking over here? 8, 9, 6, 5, 9. Wow. I didn't think we had that much white. Definitely want four of this, because we have it early. We have like one, two, three, four, five blue cards. Cut that. Black cards we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we don't even get to black till like midway through the curve. I'm just gonna play 18 lands. I'm gonna play 41. Sounds good. Do I have any life advice for you? <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh boy. Life advice. Nope. Well, he tried. <laughs> <sighs> Jaber, I feel like you should be giving us the life advice. You I, seem to have it together. I agree with that. But I think one of the reasons Jaber does have it together is because he listens to other people. That's probably true. And he's always soliciting for advice. Sir Strumming God, I think that that's usually good advice, but sometimes the yellow snow is a snow cone. Oh, Gateway Plaza. <laughs> um, interesting. Let's get a green for sure and a black. Dude, we're already there. Oh yeah, we're looking good. We just need a white source, but this does produce a white source. Oh man, can you imagine if we draw a white source next turn? It's gonna be baller. Let's be the monarch. OP's not Shut gonna know what happened when the sliver hive okay. lord comes down. Chorwit, life is a highway. I'm gonna ride it all night long. 
Gotta love Charwit. Oh my god, we just drew a land. My life advice is always work hard and always do the right thing. Also listen to people who sit behind you on stream and Hodge Galashi. That's pretty good advice. I'm just gonna play Sliver Hive Lord here. Bam! Didn't see that coming. Oh my god, we can put Pawn Bright Wings on it? Then it's a 5-5 five, five indestructible flyer that makes five one ones. <laughs> oh boy. Game over. We're having a good time. Oh, or we can just play Raging Sword Tooth, which kills their whole board. I mean, that seems pretty decent. Thank you. Ha ha. Oh, you get wrecked. I feel like we're in good shape here. Get wrecked. I have two five fives. One is trample. One is indestructible. We're about to make one flying. And oh, yeah, there you go. You can have your Dawn's Reflection. Oh, he got us. No one cares about that. Glare of Subduel. Tree Man. Okay. Oh, we got the other five color one. <laughs> oh, they just conceded. <laughs> I guess that'll do. All right. Well, we had a good game. <laughs> Oh, our deck is sweet. Team Jabber, what's the new cube that's coming soon? Hey man, look at this stock X alert that I just got. You should add some cause to your collection. You want to add some cause to your collection? What are, what are they suggesting you add? I don't know. I clicked on it and they literally just took me to the homepage. Yeah, they don't seem very good at that whole deep I really hate thing. that. I'm like, oh cool, now I have to like, you want to look for it myself or... How does that work? The thing I hate most is when they use like the negative patterns. When, like, you get a notification and you go into the app and there's nothing nothing happening. What do you mean? So they, they have these things called negative patterns. Right. Which are, like, bad things you can do to people to make them, like, use your app more. So, oh, they're, like, so they, like, encourage you to... Right. Okay. For, like, no reason. So, like, uh, adding, like, notifications when there's, like, no actual notification. It's just to get you to go into the app. That's, like, a negative pattern. It's messed up. That is definitely an insider term, though. Yes. So we go to we go to nine. We play a land. Yes, a, a hole patterns. Yeah, Bumble probably does that kind of stuff a bit. Bumble. Bumble is a dating app. Oh, I know. Why do you know, Frank? Well, the same way you know. I don't, I don't think it's the same. Is it not? <laughs> okay, so we need a white and a red and a black. So a black lets us... A, a black and white lets us cast these. A red and a black lets us cast these. A red and a white lets us cast these. Yeah, a lot of Bumble's notifications are just like stupid stuff, but it's like actually a notification. The ones that are really annoying is when it like pops up with the, like the red one or whatever on the app, and you go in there and there's just nothing. You're just in the app. There's also ones too, like Facebook used to use a lot of negative patterns where they were like, "Hey, we want to see your like um, beehole, your your contact list." And so when you would go into the app, it would be like, "If you if you let us look at your contact list, we can find all the people you want." And there would be two options. It would be like, "Okay," or maybe later. Or something like that. There was never like a no. And like the maybe later oh, one like was either. like. Oh, that, that seems sketch. And the maybe later one would always be kind of grayed out. Like you couldn't select it. Like if you clicked on it, it would actually work. But it looked like you couldn't. How do we not die here? Should have played planes last turn because then we can play Tower Gall Girl this turn. Thorn does have Death Touch, so we block the Baloth, take four, they become the Monarch. Team Jaybro, what do you want to know about App Insights? Could actually just kill the Centaur here. Yep, it's actually not that crisp here. 
kind of warm actually it is a little warm i have the window open though just because it's nice outside night like it's nice to get the fresh air it'll be it'll be crisp later on this evening boy i hope you're right Oh, we got the Sliver Hive Lord again. Well, they got Rogue's Passage in this guy, so I'm pretty sure they're just going to make this guy unblockable for two turns and kill us. Boo. Here, uh, I like hearing more about these. Can you just tell us more that you find personally interesting? I don't know how to ask questions better than that. Yeah, let me think. <laughs> let me think of some of them. I don't know how to ask questions better than that. I mean, there's a lot of different negative patterns where things like when they're trying to like push you to actually do something um they will keep asking you to do it over and over again and there's no way to like make it stop like every like three weeks or something it'll it'll ask you whereas if you say yes it will go away but if you don't say yes it just keeps coming up over and over again it's so, like it's like where apps are like would you like to review this app and it's like yeah it's that kind of thing where it's like yes or not now right and sometimes I'll just say yes, and then when they take me to the review page, I just close out of it. Another thing that's not necessarily a negative pattern is the uh, automatic opt-in, where they like bring out a new feature, and unless you go to some menu setting that's buried deep inside of the app and say no, um, you are automatically added to whatever feature they've just put on. Facebook does this a lot. Which is kind of annoying. And part of the reason I don't use Facebook anymore. Uh, Team Jabril, yeah, I work for Microsoft. I've built a bunch of different apps for different things. So I have some awareness of this kind of stuff. Come on, forest. That's not a forest at all. Team Jabro, I'm Kerwit. As you can tell from the title of the stream. Okay, well, they're just definitely giving us uh, these two land colors. Yep, all right. So we're facing the, uh, the problem with the five-color deck right now. Which is that your opponent gets to cast their spells and we don't get to cast ours. All right, well, we had a good run. Ah... <sighs> I mean, we just missed the fifth land. Like, yeah, Am red. I better at app building or cube? They pay me to build apps. They don't pay me to build or do cube. So you, you can take whatever you want out of that. It's true. He also thought we should take one with nothing. So take that as, as what you will. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, as a legal disclaimer, any opinions are my own and do not reflect Microsoft. Do I know Sprout Social? I don't think so. Is that an app? What up, Beer Man? Beer Man Man? Yeah, that's my buddy John. He, he works uh, at, he they works may at reflect Frank, Frank Lepore's uh, Flank? opinions. How do I feel about Apple? Um, my feelings about Apple are a little conflicted. I think they do a very, very good job of narrowing in on what people want out of apps and out of hardware in particular. Um, that being said, uh, I have some misgivings about Steve Jobs as an individual. Same. Which kind of like colors what I think of them as like a corporation. Um... But the problem is that, like, a lot of, like, people who run large corporations, whether they appear that way in public, are that way um, in meetings and stuff. I think Steve Jobs was probably an extreme of that, but, I mean, it's hard to say. Do I like Xiaomi? I don't know much about Xiaomi. Can you tell the world the story of what made you and Frank so physically, so close physically and personally? <laughs> Maybe a storm your glory. Um, I used to send, so at one point Frank made the mistake of telling me what his address was. And then I just started sending him crap. Mostly like food. He'd be like, you guys want some cheeseburgers? And I'd be like, well, 
I don't need meat. He'd be like, okay, an impossible whopper then. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And what are my thoughts about the Epic Apple Microsoft lawsuit? Um, I'm not going to comment on any Microsoft lawsuits. Um, but as far as... Actually, no, I'm not going to comment on any lawsuits. Probably, probably a wise choice. Natural connection. What was that noise? Did you hear that? That's what it was. Dang it. You tricked me. But just in general, I mean, it's kind of tricky, right? Um, they do own those app stores. And so they do have some right to set the terms that their app stores, you know, function as and how you like interact with them. Um, I think if you want that to change, and I think a lot of people do, um, you may have to change the definition of what a monopoly is. Because I think in strictest terms, because Google exists and because Apple exists in that space, neither of them is technically a monopoly. They're a duopoly. And they're doing the exact same thing, but technically they are individually not a monopoly. Oh, wow, I did not think this was going to work. Yeah, Shinla, I think that that's probably true. I mean, it at some point, uh, corporations became driven by stock price. I don't know who it was that kind of, like, fostered that switch. I want to say Jack Welsh, but I'm not sure. Um, and I think when that happened, it did become more about, you know, the way companies show progress is by increasing share price, increasing revenue, that kind of stuff. And so from like a corporate standpoint, CEOs have like a fiduciary responsibility to the shareholders to make in, or like investments that are in the interest of those people. And unfortunately, right now, that means increasing share price. It's a lot of lands. But thankfully, we have double of everything, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to six this guy. Yeah, Shoe Gardener, if you could prove that they were colluding, it would be... Then you would have some legal basis. The problem is actually proving it. <sighs> it's like a three for one here, because they get to kill one of our lands, but... I mean, the fact that we get to keep the Monarch is... Pretty good. Oh my god, stop playing these big fat idiots. Also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lands. So there's like... Yep, this is Carwit. Uh, it's Chorwit. Oh, that was a good dude. Yeah, Shoe Garden, it's very similar to that, I would say. <sighs> but I think unless they actually, like... I shouldn't say that. I'm actually not sure what constitutes colluding in that sense. Also, just so you all know, I'm no legal expert. These are just my opinions. And it does not constitute any legal advice. Well, that's a thing, I guess. So I got <laughs> shoe gardener. I got, I've gotten in trouble with our uh, PR departments before. You may remember that video of me uh, getting interviewed uh, in Japan. Yeah, they weren't so happy about that. Oh, an island is nice. Oh man, we play an island. We pump this guy to a seven five. Oh god, three, four, five, six. Was it seven mana? Six mana? Five mana? Four mana? Three mana? Okay, never mind. They've changed their mind. 
Uh, mediocre man. No, I I said uh, free crunch wrap advice. Well, that guy's not constitutional good. legal advice. Can't be blocked by Cruiser's Power two or less. I'm just gonna eat it. No, I mean, so Shoe Gardener. The, the issue is that like, if I make any comments that are like, people could like construe as like being a Microsoft position. Right. He's he's as as someone who's employed by a, a large software company. He doesn't want to, uh, yeah. Even even give the the impression that he's speaking on their behalf. So the best way to handle your crunch wrap um, <laughs> is to hold it like so, and then bite the top off, oh, and then pour oh no. your hot sauce into it. Interesting. A shoe garden? No, I'm not a public official at all but like the or a public figure at all the fact is though that like the second you say they know you work for microsoft and the headline microsoft employee says you know whatever can you please share your favorite four J or japanese proverbs that reflect your soul i actually don't know many japanese proverbs or any japanese proverbs so uh no i can't do that if you want to write things here and I can try and say them in Japanese, we can do that. Uh, nothing foul, though. And it, it probably would have to be simple. Mochi wa mochi ya? Mochi is the mochi store? <laughs> I don't know what's going on in chat, guys, so hopefully you, you guys do. Get your kebab in Europe. Yeah, they're probably better in Europe. I actually used to eat kebabs in Japan a lot. There's like a bunch of Turkish people and stuff that live there and like have restaurants. Turkey people. Yeah, and I would I would go and eat them. They're delicious. Translate the rat train is leaving for Savannah. <laughs> I actually don't know what rat is in Japanese. Uh it would be uh, probably something like uh rat no densha wa ano savanna ni ano de kakemasu. That's what I was thinking too. Can you share your Japanese Taco Bell order? Yeah. Um, I usually get two uh, Chalupa Supremes, no tomato, and then, like, uh, a cheesy core bur or burrito. Where's Michael B? Uh, Michael B wa doko ni iru ka? Why are you eating that? Uh, Turkey's delicious. <laughs> So here's the question. We can either play New Horizons next turn to play Assemble the Legion the following turn. Or we can play Dragon Soul Knight into Thorn into Assemble. So it's either Assemble next turn or Assemble on five. So they got two, two, three guys. Look, Dragon Soul should be pretty good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The first strike. Plus New Horizons gives a counter to somebody, so... Have you gone to Torchies now that you're visiting? We have not gone to Torchies. Oh my Torchies. god, Shul Garner's obsessed. Well, where have we been? So, uh, last night we went to a McDonald's and I got some spicy chicken nuggets. Yeah, it was like 11.50, so. And this morning we ordered from a breakfast place that was banging. It was very good. It slapped. They have one card in hand? This is... Uh, say Michael B is in the trash can in your foreign tongue. Oh my uh, god, I played the wrong fucking land. Michael B, I know it. Gomi ni iru. Yeah, I, I'm actually kind of surprised we're getting all five colors so re uh, regularly. Hey, buddy. We're amazing. Yep, you got it. Yeah, the spicy nugs were pretty good. I actually kind of like McDonald's regular nugs better. Like, the spice uh, breading around them kind of, like, wasn't as crispy as, like, the regular breading. McDonald's. Eat fresh. Every day is chicken Sunday. Zero. In Japanese, the verb <laughs> is always at the end. Yeah, pretty much. He said, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he big. Oh, boy. That's funny. Where are we I haven't from? had a Wendy Spicy Nug in a long time. I thought they stopped making them for a while, didn't are they? Are you new here? Man, it always works out. Yeah, you're, I think you're right. Man, it does always work out for Frank. 
Please create a proverb for the life and times we are currently experiencing. Okay. Um, well, who am I? I've had Fleetwood, Fleetwood Mac stuck in my head for the past week, so. Uh, here you go. That's a problem. Saki. Ano, kesai wa owaru. That's your proverb. Mine? My personal one? Yeah, it means soon the world is over. So take that for what you will. Hmm. Bismarcky. Oh, you! Got what I need! Well, you say he's just a friend, though, you know? That's true. I always liked that he, like, sang off key and nobody cared. And he also talked in the songs. Yeah. He'd be like, oh, come on, please. I kind of want to draw a rampant growth. No, I don't. I just want to draw land here. No, I don't. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go up to six. This will put us to eight, and then we can play a land. I think we're actually, this is actually good. Signet. Well, that's exciting. Team J, bro, you didn't tell me what you thought of my, uh, my Japanese proverb. We're going to get a green. Mayonnaise wa... I don't know what that kanji is. Hori yoru oishi. Mayonnaise is more delicious than what? What is that second kanji? Than everything. I've been a fan medium since I started Tumor Control Deck and Con Standard. Finally get around to something. I appreciate your content. I hope your luck with lands has been better lately. I've been watching Modern Cube. So I think it actually did get better. Oh, you thought my proverb would involve cube, huh? And Kidu Smurf, thank you so much for the sub and for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. I was I was trying to like figure out how to pronounce that. All right, I'll give you a cube. Japanese proverb. I'll give you a cube. Here it is. It's better be good. Itsumo Boros Reckoner Des. <laughs> that means always Boros Reckoner. <laughs> What are my favorite animes? I actually don't watch a whole lot of anime. I was literally going to mention that. I was like, for someone who speaks so much Japanese, I, I feel like you would... Or who's so enamored with Japanese culture, I feel like you would have watched... You would be a larger anime fan, you know? So, like, I I like um, some of the movie animes that are, like, um, not, like, not series. The ones that are just, like, um, one-offs that, like, have, like, big debuts in theaters and stuff. Uh, I enjoy those ones. Like, uh, Your Name... And uh, all the other ones. I did used to watch Dragon Ball when I was younger. Uh, Ghibli's good too, yeah. Uh, my problem with Dragon Ball when I was a kid was that, like, uh, it was so slow. Like, literally, it would take four or five episodes oh, yeah. for Goku to get to the end of the Snake Road. That's why I like Dragon Ball Kai, actually, yeah. because they take out a bunch of that bullshit. Yeah. But that, that was the problem, though, is that ruined it for me. Like, you'd watch it for a month just to see him get to the end of the road because you only got one episode a week. Uh, I actually did watch most of Naruto. I like Naruto. I don't like original Naruto. I like Shippuden because Kid Naruto was too annoying for me. Uh, my favorite anime of all time, though, is Maison Ikoku, which is from the 80s. I feel like you just made that up. I've never actually watched Full Metal Alchemist. So... My friends that live in Japan are huge into One Piece. They watch it every week. How long would it take me to get to the end of Dragon Road? I probably wouldn't get there. I'd just, like, sit there and pop up a tent or something. It's got to be the correct play, right? Oh, I should have played Scrying in the Land first. That would have been better. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can just play this guy next turn. I guess we can do that next turn. We can go scrying in the land. Play, pay, uh, 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 Wooberg. I forgot what it was called. Uh, choose one or return a creature or a land. Did they just get Evolving Wilds? 
Yeah, mediocre ma magic math. My my childhood, as far as like what I was allowed to do, is probably significantly different than like what kids today are allowed to do. Like I would just like take off and go into the woods or whatever with some kids, and then like appear back at home like five he hours later. He just laters. appeared back at home. I feel like the 5-5 five, five Indestructible guy is probably the best. Uh, Have we got that, like, every single game? Yeah, it's been a good amount. I think they're going to continue here after it's... Assemble and Sliver, Sliver Hive Lord. <laughs> it's OP. Getting it done. Also, this Field of Ruins is looking pretty awkward when I have no non-basics, even though I'm playing all five colors. This deck is sweet. This is our first mystery draft deck, and it's pretty sweet. This deck slaps. It always blows my mind that I was alive during a time when there was no cell phones. Yeah, I forget that sometimes. And it was just like, you go to meet up with somebody, and if you don't find them, you just don't meet up with them. <laughs> or like, if, you gotta, if you're going to meet, hey man, let's meet at the mall. And then you go to the mall. Wow, they have pestilence and they had roots? That's Damn. pretty good. Chris Brown does slap. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, but not three, in a good four, way. Five, six, seven, that's what I was thinking. I was like, but not in any sort of way that's, you know. I like that you can tap it for one green mana or two green mana. I mean, this is this is really good. Yeah. Every turn they just pay one and kill all our guys. Well, most of them. Two, three, four, five. But now we have an 8-8, eight, eight, so unless they're tapping eight mana... Get him. I mean, they're going to eight, so if they do tap eight mana, they're dead. Remember when we had to knock and stop texting, I'm here? Or like, say, what I was going to say is you're like meeting your friend at the mall, right? And if you suddenly can't make it, you literally have no way to get a hold of your friend and tell him that. Well, they just go to the mall and they're like, <laughs> oh, I guess he's not here. Yeah. I mean, now, when you don't know a fact, you can just argue about it instead of actually looking it up on your cell phone. All right, let's attack for eleven. <laughs> yeah, Hodge Gulashi, that was a that was a solid strategy. Oof. My parents would never go along with that, though. Do you ever do that? The uh, you need your parents to come pick you up, so you collect, call them, and you like record your name as "Come pick me up." <laughs> I've never done that, but that was obviously like very popular in the commercial. One, two. You don't even have five, so I'm just gonna play this fat idiot with five. One, two. I don't think there's test cards in this. We didn't see any. No, there's not. That would be ridiculous. They, there's no way they could program those. Yeah. So I actually, I when I first got internet, I had a 2400 baud modem. That's uh, point uh, two Mr. k Humble per second. Over here. Point two. I also remember old school 80s greasy dark arcades. Those were my favorite. I loved, oh, well, I would say 90s arcades. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember putting lots of quarters on the MK2 machine. Mm hmm. Dude, I remember when uh, Killer Instinct 2 came out. I remember Killer Instinct 1. Killer Instinct 1 was pretty sweet. I also remember when they brought out Virtual Fighter 4, and it was in like this huge cabinet, and it cost like a dollar to play. And I was like, what? Who would pay a dollar to play one arcade game? That is pretty wild. I remember when games went from 25 cents to 50 cents, and I was like, but the quarter is our unit of measurement. Why would you change it? Man, I can't even imagine going to an arcade nowadays with COVID. Jesus. Uh, yeah, all right, keep this. Look at this hand, bro. What is that? That's the loading. I don't remember that ever being Waiting there. for server. It's new. It's relatively new. Primaris Powerhouse with a gifted sub, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. So there's a uh, retro video game convention that goes on in Portland every year. And they bring together a pretty banging arcade and everything's free. Well, you have to pay to get in, but... Boldface, 23 months, almost two years. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> 
Did, Super Fritz, did you take the weed? Oh, man, the Area 51 machine? Was he trying to sell it to you or just give it to you? We do. Uh, I have no idea what to take here. Probably another green. Yeah. And they always had that weird, like, quarter belt thing. And it was, like, slung kind of suggestively low. And they would, like, bang out them quarters. Those guys were always weird. Superfits, that's probably a wise decision. Perfect land. Hey, I, I was going to say I used Sylvan Scrying, but I actually had Perfect Land before I Sylvan Scrying. All right, so we just get to become the Monarch and they don't have anything in play? That's kind of cool. Is this where I have to start playing uh, Virtual Poker? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mimic Vat? Can you imagine if they kill this well before we, after we get Mimic Vat out? Michael B's probably going to start. Michael B has actually played virtual poker. Yeah. And then there, he also went through that phase where he was playing uh, raid. Michael B? Yeah, in the background. Oh, yeah. That was definitely a phase he was going through. Well, here I go again. You sleep. You won't you free. That's fine, but weird. Not a phase. <laughs> Affinity hooking us up with a video. Those hot clips. That is a good one. I was given a tug job by the skee ball machine. Gross. <laughs> was it by Michael B's mom? Ooh. Got him. Oh, Bayloth, but no creatures to get back. That's not the ideal use of a Bayloth. Yeah, the uh, the land uh, flow has been pretty good this game. It's been good. So now if we block, they both die, and we get to put Null Bay Bayloth Null under our Mimic Mat, <laughs> and then keep getting two creatures back every single time. That seems unbeatable. Oh, Thank you guys for opponent. watching. Slam those like and subscribe <laughs> buttons. You've made a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, man. Skippo. Oh, ski job. Skippo? I was given a ski job by the tug ball machine. <laughs> the, tug ball, the tug ball machine sounds very painful. And I don't think I want to be uh, involved with that. Check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Laporte if you guys are looking for a sweet internet security solution. Uh, yeah, we're just going to block. VPN. This, is too, this seems really good. Do you know what VPN stands for? Uh, virtual Private Network. You are correct. God, I'm so good. You know how oh, it works? Uh, don't they... I mean, in my head I know how it works. I'm not sure if I can communicate it as effectively as I'd like. Um, so basically, the VPN creates a packet as if it were on the foreign network. And then creates a packet as if it's on its own network. And then sends that packet, encrypted obviously, to obviously. the VPN. And then the VPN decrypts and unwraps the package. And then puts that message onto the foreign network as if it was on that network. There you go. In other words, it, it it pretends you're coming from a different place. Correct. Grim Destiny. Returning Evolving Wilds and Bayloth Null. Uh, old VPNs used to run on Dark Sorcery. They upgraded a couple years ago. VPN 2.0 got rid of the Dark Sorcery. And we're all better for it. Mm -hmm. It does have layers, like an onion. I love a good onion. Actually, the TCP IP protocol has seven layers. Still got Fleetwood Mac stuck in my head, guys. Is that the... S oh, that's the Monarch, not the City's Blessing. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Shoot. Who feels like a dummy? I guess they also get that back with the Nully Boy. <laughs> Bredicus Maximus, that's a good joke. Hmm. So there's two main protocols for sending packets over the internet. TCP IP and UDP. 
Mm -hmm. TCP IP always retries if it fails, whereas UDP won't retry packet sends. UDP is more used for like streaming video and stuff where like if you miss a packet, it's not that big a deal. And you don't want to be using a bandwidth to retry old packets. It was very intricate. Very intricate. Something's happening here. Punk boy or D, I'm not a network engineer, but I do work in software. But I play one on TV. That's right. Oh, big null again. It does, yes. You you want to watch out for that handshake. He might get COVID. Who's getting COVID? Anyone using TCP. TCP. Easy as one, two, three. A, B, C. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can actually... Let's crack this during our upkeep. Um, let's get another island. It doesn't really matter what else we get, I guess. So we're going to eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eat this fat idiot. Land. Ooh, Slivy boy. Anyway. Do we have? Can we get it in? Yes. Are you being for real right now? Just make it sure, Frank. Our land is gorgeous. Beautiful. Has there been a game yet where we haven't got Sliver Hive Lord out? I think in the first round. And I think that's why we lost. That does sound about right. No, we don't have any more Slivers. We do have a card that can make a Changeling, though. Oh, return an instant or sorcery. That's really good. So I guess they Soul Tide Charm our guy. Return, oh, instant, and then return a sorcery, and then they get Grim Discovery back. That's surprisingly good. Oh, but they had to use their one blue mana to do it. So, Punk Boy RD, I do work with network engineers. Don't be land. Why? One, two, three, four, five. This guy. Do we have basics left? I guess so. Like the only non-basic we had, we have, we're not playing, right? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we're only it's either hub, and we yeah. just got in that. Keep it in the sideboard. Sir Strumming God, what was uh, Mike B's response? Also, you got to tell us what message you sent him to. He's worried about Wally because Watson's at the at the vet again today. Did we not have the dog cam anymore? No, I had to move it when I set up my new desk. Oh, uh, it's still here. I just haven't set it up in the in the position. Yeah. Let's have Grim Harvest, which can only get back Evolving Wilds, right? Grim Discovery. Frank, do you ever think about getting, like, those Elgato fill lights that, like, clamp onto your desk? Oh, uh, I did consider them, and I don't think they would provide nearly enough light. And they're also very expensive. Hmm. You seem to know a lot about Elgato's accessory line. Because yesterday you mentioned their, their green screen as well. Well, I did used to work for a streaming company. Did you really? Yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, like six months ago. Wait, what? Let's not talk about that. What? <laughs> this is all very strange. What does this do? Target opponent exiles two cards from their hand. Sure, I got, I got cards to spare. Did Mike B ever get a door? He did get a door. It's a pretty fancy door too. It closes. You can't see through it. It's got like a knob on it. Look at this turn we just had here. <laughs> we just played Assemble the Legion and Bringer. Did you pay it for its? Uh... And we got to draw a card from being the monarch. Did you pay its alternate <gasps> cost? We can changeling the sliver. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I Wait, did. Wait, what? Why would we changeling the sliver? Because it gets rid of the lignify. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also just an 0-4 right it, now. It's unfortunate, though, that we have to use the changeling for that. I agree, because you kind of want to... Choose a color. It deals X to each creature of the chosen color. 
Okay, so you're stealing three to each black creature. I yeah, see. House of All Doors would be kind of cool. Are you talking like just like a house of door frames? Like all the walls are just door frames? Surprising or like sliding it. doors? Or like garage doors that open up? It's happening right now. Oh, we can actually just change like one of these assembled Legion tokens. That's also fine. Mediocre Magic Man, I actually did used to work for Mixer. But we're not going to talk about that. Because I'm still angry. That's what you were referring to. Oh my god, I totally didn't even get it. I feel like an idiot now. That's really funny. We only have ten cards left. Oh, never mind. That's gonna... Yeah, old Japanese houses good. were pretty much sliding doors. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I think we're just taking four here. I mean, they become the monarch, but... Then we get the Pollen Bright Wings, get it right back, which seems fine. Yeah, we'll just take four. I don't want to lose Changeling Hero. Man, I thought this game was over a while ago. And then they had Sudden Demise, Murari Cha Murari's Conjecture, Lignify. Aren't you supposed to have a creature under the Changeling Hero? Yeah, it was a Symbol Legion token, so it's oh. just gone. I remember playing in the pre-release for uh, Lorwyn. I got uh, my first uh, draft deck. Or not draft deck. It was uh, sealed. I had two Imperious Perfects. That's pretty good. Yeah. So we're going to go one, two, three, Warhammer. One, two, three. Nope. Let's not tap all the green for that. I'll equip you. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six. Wings. Make seven one ones gain 14. <laughs> because this isn't give lifelink, it just... Oh, it does give lifelink. I'm thinking of Armadillo Cloak. So I guess we only gain seven. Still seems fine. I don't know. Frank, thoughts on putting Monarch cards into a uh, cube? Uh, I think they've always been very, very, very strong. Palace Jailer is one of the best cards in, like, the Vintage Cube. Oh, there it is. 2-0. And by 2-0, I mean 2-1 in our first Mystery Wish. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see Kerwit later, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.